guys, it's Sarah. Uh, today I am here with a book review. It's more like a rant about how much I loved this book. And today I will be talking about the book of poems, I Wrote This For You and Only You by Please Find This. Now obviously Please Find This is a pin name. <laughs> um, and there's really no real author name anywhere in this book. Which I think is really cool. So I stumbled across this book randomly. I was in Barnes and Noble and I was just browsing and I ended up in the poetry section because it's been a while since I've read some poetry. And I saw this book, there was like five copies and I saw the title and then I was kind of intrigued so I picked it up and let me just read you the back. This is what it says. I need you to understand something. I wrote this for you. I wrote this for you and only you. Everyone else who reads it doesn't get it. They may think they get it, but they don't. This is the sign you've been looking for. You were meant to read these words. So I just thought that was cool. <laughs> and um, you know, then I started flipping through. It's really cool. There's like um, this cool, you know, photography on every page with the poems. Some of, the, some of the photography is like really cool. Uh, they do list the photographer's name at the beginning. John Ellis is his name. But uh, I read this in one sitting. It was really amazing. The poems cover everything from life and death and childhood and growing up and nostalgia and the theme of time passing and love. There were a lot about love. There were a lot about loss of love. Just a lot of, you know, universal themes that would really touch anybody, I think. Let me just read you a couple of these. They're really short. The words that leave on last breaths. Sometimes I wonder if you've only got a certain number of words and sentences in your head. And if you use them all up, you get quiet. Maybe that's why the young have so much to say, while the old hold what little words they have left so close and so tightly in their hearts. Here's another one. This one is really short. The world is not as dark as it seems. You can't hate everyone. You haven't even met most of them. And I'll read one more. This is the beginning poem. The stars look like drops of white paint. I know you might think that you're just sitting there, looking at some random book, reading some stupid words, and maybe the world has told you who you are for so long that you've started to believe it. But please remember that you're so much more than this. Remember who you really are. So there's just a lot of poems like that that, um, I think could really speak to the reader. And I think the, obviously the, the point of this book with the title and with everything on the back is to do just that and uh, touch people. And I just have this like image of this author imagining someone in the bookstore who's maybe upset and stumbling across this book and just really being uplifted by all of the beautiful poems and photographs. And I just think this whole book was really, really beautiful. Most books of poems, it takes me a while to kind of read and digest. Like I wouldn't normally just sit down and read a whole book of poems straight through in one setting. Because I mean, a lot of poetry is really you have to sort of unpack the meaning, I think, and so it kind of takes me a while to let it sit and digest, I guess. Um, and not that these poems weren't complex. Some of them actually were. Um, a lot of them are really, really simple poems, but not in a bad way. The poet just makes a lot of profound simple statements in, you know, one or two lines and then paired together with the photographs. It was just, it was really powerful. So yeah, if you are into poetry at all, uh, or even if you're not, 
really. I think you would like this book, so definitely pick it up. I give it five out of five stars, obviously, because I loved it so much. So yeah, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. It was only a dream.